Greetings from India. This is Nirbha Chauhan for Make Love Via Self Learning Tutorials. Well, today in this tutorial, we'll be learning that how we can get the 2D plan drawings for your architecture models. So there is a very basic approach and some very basic operations. They'll be going through that in the Arc Workbench only, and we'll take in the drawings in the Drawing Dimension Workbench that I have earlier told in one of my tutorial. So let's start. So here you have a building that like you can have any of a building here. This is one of my building that I model in FreeCAD. So the very first thing you can see here, we have this building in a very proper manner, like the site object, the building object. Then we have the floors. Uh, basically, this is a type of beam approach. This is a proper approach that you can model your building. It makes it easier to work on different floors if you use this approach. I have discussed about this approach is my full BIM modeling course. You can just check that in my uh, list of videos on my channel. So here, now what we will doing is we'll go to the arc workbench very first. So now, if you see, now you want the plan or the projections or drawings or any view for the front section or the front face of the building so now you see the working plane is the xy so what you can do is just simply click on the face along which you want the view and just click here this option it will just set the working plane you see the working plane is now parallel to this surface it's aligned with that so now you would like to have the sections or the plan view just parallel to this or facing to this so we'll just simply click this building object now we have an option here that is creates a section plane object so now simply click on this so now this has created a plane so if you see it's inwards you can change its dimension for your convenience if you just click on this section in the view options you have this display height you can change it like any of any convenience like then you have the display length you can also change it so that's up to you for your convenience but it doesn't affect your view on the drawing sheet it's just for your viewable convenience so you can also change the location of the section if you want it like anywhere inwards outwards anywhere you move uh, into the any global axis so now we have a section here we can rename it let be front view now we will shift to the drawing dimensioning workbench or the drawing workbench so here we will just select the sheet first let the sheet be a to landscape plane so we have an empty plane sheet here so now to import that section view here we will simply click on this front view the section we have created and then here is an option named which can insert this draft view into this drawing so you just simply click on this option so this will just import that view in the drawing sheet and that will be made in this folder if you just expand this page view now you have this view here so if you see its data properties here are certain sets of things like its placement in the xy direction on the sheet its scale so the very first thing we need to set the scale we'll set its scale to be 0 0.01 we can't take the one scale because it is exactly the size of the building so now we can set its placement in the drawing sheet like in the x it will be 150 in the y let it be 150 if you see our building is 90 degrees rotated so we can change its orientation here we have an option in rotation so that will be 90 degree so now we will have our building in exactly proper manner so now we will take another view so what we will see do is we now want the view in the downwards direction so you can select any of the plane which is parallel to the xy axis so you simply click on the surface go to arc workbench and set the working plane parallel to this so you see it's aligned to that surface now so now we'll say, again click the building objects creates a new section from this option now we have a section here let's rename it let it be top view now we'll need to set this placement 
uh, we want this section to be somewhat here right now it's here you want it to be a little more above so you can change its placement from its data properties position then let the z placement be around 6500 let be difficulty more let is 7 so yeah it's okay now so now we have the sections like here so we we'll go to a drawing dimension workbench again open this drawing page click on this top view option and just insert this draw view again so now we have this imported here so very first thing you do is just change the scale that will be 0 0.01 then change its placement in the drawing sheet to 50 in the x direction we need a little bit more let it be 350 little more i think let it be 400 yeah that's fine now and the y direction let it be uh, 200 yeah that's fine now here are some other operations also like the font size line width the rendering now what basically rendering here is the current mode is wireframe if you set the mode to the solid mode here it will just make the uh, appearance of this drawing view is exactly the same color of your uh, in the model but basically i prefer is the wireframe mode only because there are some minute details which you can easily get in the wireframe mode that you may get confused in the color mode so now we have this all sets of imported views here so now the second thing they can do is that is which is very important on the construction phase so you can set the dimensions for this views so for do this dimension you need to just use this trying meshing workbench so here are some sets of dimension that you can set the linear dimension so you simply click on this option now it automatically just detect the points so now you can just click on these points two end points and you will get the dimensions ready like this one similarly let's get the overall height of this house like this then we can have the height of the first floor from this then similarly you can have the width of this gate then let's see some other dimensions like let's close it now you, we can take the circular dimensions also or the dimension for the arches so here you have this option to create the circular dimension now this will automatically detect the surfaces with arches if you simply click here you see it just created the diameter then we can click here then this arch or any of the arch you like similar to this so you see it's very damn simple similarly you can have the dimension for another view let's have some linear dimensions so it has detected the points similarly let's have the overall length of this plan yeah like this similarly the inner dimensions too you can take it depends upon your convenience how much dimensions need and how much detail you want to add now to use this drawing sheet for your construction phases what you can do is you can either export into dxf but basically if you see on the fields the uh, format that is used is the drawing sheets is a hard copy for that what you can do is just simply export into pdf we'll simply click on this page and open the file menu here you have export to pdf let it be name my plan and just save it now it's exporting if you open your desktop here you have this pds pdf form you can just simply see your drawing sheet here so you see all the dimensions are neatly placed the model is neatly exported you can just print it down you can use on your fields and construct your model well that's all for today's tutorial thanks for watching guys this one is Johan for make love self-learning tutorial